Hey guys, it's Natalie and welcome back to day two of believe -a If you guys missed my day one vlog, I just posted it just now. I'll link it down below if you guys want to watch that first. But today's plan of action, I'm going to go over it. So I woke up late today. I woke up at 4 o'clock. It's currently around 4 p.m. right now as we speak. For those of you who didn't watch part one of my vlog and you think I'm whack, I'm acclimated to my boyfriend's sleep schedule and he works nights, so I go to bed at 7 a.m. So that's why. Uh, but basically, today's plan of action, I'm going to read Hatchet by Gary Paulson, and I'm really excited to read this one because it's been a really long time since I read this. This is my sister's copy that I'm borrowing, and it is really beat up, like the whole front page is bent, like right here, and there's like a weird stain on it. But anyways, nonetheless, I'm excited to read one of my childhood favorites. I can't really remember the specifics of it. I do remember there being... A moment where Brian was attacked by a moose. Um, this one's really short, it's only about 180 pages. So. Also today I plan on filming a YouTube video that I've been meaning to film, which is new book releases that are coming out in May and June. Just books that I'm excited about. I haven't filmed a new releases video since October. I don't know what happened, but I kind of just dropped the ball with talking about new releases on my channel. But I feel like we should because we should hype up books that aren't even out yet, you know. So I will be filming that, but first I would like to have a coffee, do my face up a little bit, which I will take you through if you guys want to see my makeup process, whatever. But yeah, so that's the plan for today. I don't really have any other plans. Might play World of Warcraft later with Brianna again, I don't know. But yeah, let's get right into it. my makeup um, I did pretty much everything except for my lipstick because I wanted to drink my coffee and then brush my teeth and then put on my lipstick so that's the plan this is what I do it's very minimal sometimes I do eyeliner when I'm feeling like I want to put more effort in but usually I just do foundation powder eyebrows eyeshadow mascara lipstick that's really it so yeah I'm going to drink my coffee and then I'm gonna start filming so it is currently 5 o'clock p.m. around there and I finished my coffee, brushed my teeth, put on a real shirt, put on some lipstick, and I'm ready to film. So today I'm going to be filming my May and June book releases video, like releases that I'm excited for. So keep an eye out for that on my channel. I don't know when I'm going to be posting this, hopefully soon. So just keep an eye out for that. Hello, okay, so I just finished filming. It is 6 o'clock p.m. and what I plan to do now is to take off my lipstick, eat some dinner, which will be lentil soup, which I'm very excited about because I love lentil soup. And also I'm going to be playing World of Warcraft with my friend Brie because like I mentioned in my last vlog, she lives in Maryland and we've recently been playing World of Warcraft together while we Discord and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hey y'all, just wanna do a quick update really quick. It is 6.45 p.m. currently and i finished filming my video i ate some lentil soup and crackers for dinner and i also put some banana bread in the oven and now i'm going to actually edit the youtube video that i filmed today and don't worry i still am going to be reading today just in a little bit but yeah i'm going to work on editing that video and then i will get back to you guys Hey friends, um, I haven't really updated in a while. It is currently 9.45 p.m. And in between editing my YouTube video, I have been reading Hatchet by Gary Paulson. I am one chapter in, a staggering one chapter. But so far I have some thoughts. It's so weird, there's certain things that I remember that I didn't think I remembered, but it definitely pulled it out of the dredges of my brain. Like, just the details of like the first chapter, like, just... It all came rushing back to me and it was so weird. Another thing is that I don't really love the writing style. Like, for example, Gary Paulson will write a sentence, right? And it'll be like, after all, he would be home soon. Soon. 
like he would just repeat a word and put a period after it and I don't know if that means it's supposed to be like impactful but it's really just getting annoying at this point because he did it like four times in the first chapter alone it'll be like he was thinking about his parents divorce divorce like okay <laughs> oh I don't know the writing style so far isn't for me but then again I feel like I need to give this a fair fighting chance because this was one of my favorites when I was growing up and I have read it multiple times so yeah but for the past couple of hours, I have just been editing and eating the banana bread that I made, which is pretty good. And so yeah, uh, in between editing and when I'm done editing, I do plan on reading Hatchet. And I'll let you guys know when I have more thoughts on it. But for now, that's all I really have to say about it. So yeah. Um... So it's currently 11.05 p.m. Greg just left for work a little while ago. And I have decided 32 pages in to hatch it by Gary Paulson. I'm gonna DNF it. I really, 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 really dislike the writing style, like, a lot. And I just don't want to go further not liking it and just ruin my childhood experience of loving this book. It was one of my favorites growing up and I've read it like so many times and I just don't want to ruin it for myself because I loved it back then. So yeah, unfortunately I have decided to DNF this sadly, but you know, I will just hold on to that memory of me loving this as a tiny little child. So yeah. So I'm still editing my video. It's taking quite a bit longer than I thought it would just because there's a lot of editing involved because of the kind of video I'm filming where I have to put in a ton of pictures and things like that. So it's taking a while, but as I DNF this one, I'm just going to finish up editing and then maybe get on World of Warcraft and play with Brie, and then I will probably start one of my other books that are on my middle grade TBR, so yeah. <laughs> Your bird looks so much better than mine, what the fuck? Hey guys, it's Natalie and welcome back to day three of my Believeathon vlog. It is currently 4 o'clock p.m. I definitely slept a lot, but I still don't really feel well rested, which is depressing. But anyways, I think that I'm going to combine my vlog for days two and three because I didn't really do a lot yesterday and I ended up DNFing Hatchet by Gary Paulson, which I'm really sad about. Today, I would like to start on The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan because this is the biggest book I have to tackle for Believeathon and it's nearly 500 pages but generally I tend to fly through Rick Riordan books even if they are long because they're just a really good time and I always enjoy them. So yeah I'm super excited for this one. I'm kind of curious to see how this one is going to play out because this introduces two new characters and so did The Lost Hero so I'm interested on how Rick Riordan is going to continue to use those perspectives throughout the series. I think I'm going to put a soft goal today of attempting to read at least 100 pages of The Son of Neptune. I feel like that's not too unreasonable. And maybe I can also work on Take a Hint Danny Brown a little bit or Forest of a Thousand Lanterns because I really want to finish those books because I feel kind of slumpy when I'm in the middle of like three books at the same time. So hopefully I will get to those today. But anyways, yeah, that's the plan for today. Last night I kind of ended up just playing World of Warcraft for a while and then I went to sleep I didn't, didn't do any reading so it was kind of uneventful but hopefully today will be a little bit more eventful today I'm hoping to plan out my June TBR so I will take you guys through that process and everything like that so yeah stay tuned for that I think for right now I'm just gonna finish my coffee and then I'm probably going to get started on the Son of Neptune <laughs> Why are you licking my socks? That's really gross. Are you defender of the feet now? Thank you, I feel so safe. Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I last updated, uh, a really long time actually, just because not a lot happened today and I don't want to film when not a lot has happened. 
I'm currently about 30 pages into The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan and I've been really enjoying it because I tend to enjoy all of Rick Riordan's books so this one is no exception. It feels really good to see Percy's perspective again and yeah I've just been really enjoying this. So I thought that I would take you guys through the process of me picking my TBR for June. I'm actually participating in a readathon, which is the Olympic Games readathon, which is a Percy Jackson themed readathon. So I thought that I would walk you guys through me going through my shelves and picking my TBR. So I actually wrote out all the prompts here. So first things first, I'm gonna make a stack of all the books that I would like to get to or that are higher priority. And then I'm going to pick my books for the month of June from that stack. So let's go through the shelves. Okay, so I made a stack of 20 books. Some of them are graphic novels, so it's more like 17 books. Uh, these ones are just the ones that are like highest priority to me. So I'm going to pick some books for the Olympic Games readathon and we will go from there. I apologize if you hear heavy breathing. Luna's sleeping like right there and she's breathing really heavily because she's sleeping. Basically for the Olympic Games readathon based on the quiz I took on the Rick Riordan website I got sorted into the Artemis cabin so that is the little cabin I will be representing. So the first prompt is to read a book that takes place in the wilderness. So for this challenge I have chose to read the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins because I definitely am late to starting my reread of the series in anticipation for the newest book in this universe which is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes which I actually did pre-order and it comes out a day after my birthday so that's really exciting but I'm extremely late to my reread and I definitely won't be able to get to it this month in May so I would like to start my reread in June so yeah. So the next prompt is to read a book that features a rescue mission. So to fill the prompt of a book that has a rescue mission, I chose The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. This is the third book in the Heroes of Olympus series, and as you guys know, I've slowly been trucking my way through the series, and always there's a rescue mission of some kind in Rick Riordan's books, so I feel like this one will definitely fit that prompt. And I also feel like it's very fitting to read this for the Percy Jackson readathon. So yeah, super excited to read this one. So up next is to pick a book that features an animal. So to fill the prompt of reading a book that features an animal, I decided to choose The Abyss Surrounds Us by Emily Skrutsky. And this one is a indie or self-published book that is basically about sapphic girls who train sea monsters and this sounds really interesting and i don't know if sea monsters technically count as animals but i'm gonna say they do and also i feel like sea monsters that's also just fitting for this readathon because you know percy jackson you get it yeah i really wanted to read this one in the month of june anyway because i'm trying to incorporate as many queer books into my tbr as possible to represent the lgbt community so yeah i'm super excited to read this one so the next prompt is to read a book only while the moon is out, so only at nighttime, which is great because I actually just acclimated my sleep schedule to my boyfriend's and he works nights, so I'm awake all night long. So the one I have chosen for that is Beyond the Black Door by A.M. Strickland, and this one is a YA fantasy that follows a girl who has the ability to travel between people's souls via their dreams, and I feel like this would be perfect to read at night just because it sounds like the perfect amount of like fantastic fantastical and eerie and this one is also great for pride month because it features an asexual main character and i'm just so so excited for this one i've heard so many good things about it and i just cannot wait to read it so the next prompt is to read a book that honors apollo and so for this one i have chosen laura dean keeps breaking up with me by mariko tamaki and rosemary valera o'connell and i chose this one because apollo is actually famous for being in devoted relationships but they end up being scandalized when he has more than one at a time or he leaves one for another because he just keeps falling in love and so i feel like this one would be good for that because the main character's girlfriend just keeps breaking up with her over and over again and then coming back because she supposedly loves her or at least that's what i think this is about that's what i've heard it's about i've been wanting to read this graphic novel for a really long time i've had my eye on it for a while and it has so much hype here on booktube so i'm happy to finally own it and i absolutely love the art style there's a lovely color palette of like a light salmon pink and then black and white which i think is a really nice contrast and i really like that 
so I'm really excited to read this one. So there are actually three advanced challenges that are optional but I'm deciding to do them and the first one is archery and that is to read a book that is under 200 pages and so for this challenge I'm actually going to be reading an ebook that I have downloaded on my kindle and that is Meet Cute, Meet Cute Club by Jack Harbin. This is the first book in a new series called the Sweet Rose series and this book falls just at 186 pages and I'm really excited to read this one. I pre-ordered this one before it came out and I just got it on my tablet a few days ago so I'm super excited to read this one. It is a really cute male male adult romance and it follows I believe two guys who meet at a book club if I'm not mistaken and it just sounds really really cute and I'm totally down to read this. So the next advanced challenge is monster fighting and that is to read a book that features magical creatures. So for this one I have decided to read City of Glass by Cassandra Clare because if you guys aren't aware I'm slowly working my way through the series. I've already read City of Bones and City of Ashes and now I just need to work on City of Glass. This one I'm nervous for because it's really big and I already chose another big book which is The Mark of Athena. So hopefully I'll be able to get to all of these. I really really want to complete all the challenges but yeah I'm super excited to work my way through the series and this one definitely has a lot of magical creatures in it so super excited for this one. So the last advanced challenge is Capture the Flag and for that one you have to read an anticipated book release and for that one I chose Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. This is a book that I pre-ordered before its release. It just came out on May 7th and I'm so excited to finally have it and this is an own voices story about a trans boy coming to terms with his identity and like that cover is just so beautiful. I'm so excited to read this one. I definitely wanted to find a prompt where I could like wiggle this book onto my TBR because I just really want to read it. It looks so fantastic. So those are the seven books I would like to read for the Olympic Games readathon. Hopefully I can get to all of these. Like I said, some of them are kind of big, so hopefully I can get to them. I'm um, so I think my plan for the rest of the night is to read The Son of Neptune and maybe catch up on some booktube videos, maybe play World of Warcraft. So if I do any reading or if I do anything else that is slightly spectacular, I will let you know. I'm also going to take a shower because I need to take a shower. So yeah, that is my very boring plan for the night. I never really know what to do in reading vlogs, so I'm sorry if this is kind of boring, but like I'm trying my best, okay? That's why I included me like picking out you know my tbr for june why i showed me like cleaning my bookshelves because i literally have no idea what i'm doing i don't ever do reading vlogs so yeah <laughs> hey friends so it is currently 2 30 in the morning and i just finished playing world of warcraft with brianna for like two hours maybe and i think now i'm going to take a shower put away my laundry and then I'm going to get to reading. So finally we have some reading in this vlog. So stay tuned for that. Hello, it is about three o'clock in the morning and I just finished showering. I put away my laundry and someone needs to go outside as you can probably hear. But I'm probably going to take her outside and then I'm gonna get some reading done. <laughs> about six in the morning and I got about 82 pages into The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. I'm really enjoying it and I feel like the pages are just flying by and I did take a break to eat some mac and cheese and I also watched some booktube videos while I ate and then I got back to reading and I got about 82 pages in and I'm really liking this. I feel like it's just flying by like I said and I one of my favorite characters from the original series is back and I'm really happy about that. Percy is also back and I'm really, I'm just happy because I missed Percy. He's one of my favorite characters. And yeah, I've just been really enjoying this. I will say some things did get confusing because I'm not very well first in Roman mythology. I feel like I got a good feel for the Greek mythology already, but I feel like it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to grasp all this Roman mythology. Like when I first read the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, I had a really good grasp on Greek 
mythology and now I just feel like I am at a loss. It is really interesting learning about like this other version of Camp Half-Blood and I'm just really enjoying it so yeah hopefully tomorrow I will get even farther into it and like I said this is the biggest book I have to tackle for Believe Upon so hopefully I can finish this within a couple of days and move on to the next book. So I'm really really tired at this point and like I said it's like 6am I haven't gone to sleep yet so I think I'm gonna hit the hay and I think that concludes day three of believe -a -thon. I'm sorry if the past two days have not been super interesting. I just haven't been doing a lot and I kind of fell into a reading slump. So I apologize for that, but hopefully tomorrow, day four, will be more interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys tomorrow in day four.